In this video, we will go over internal ventilation studies using the Influx CFD software. HVAC inlets and outlets will be defined as well as the domain for the assessment. Let's get started. Here, we have already loaded a 3D model. This model was created using the CAD creation tool included in Influx. Different layers exist, showing different parts of the CAD geometry. This is just a simple turbine enclosure, but you can use much more complex models with the internal ventilation capability. Some things to note when working with interior spaces. Individual layers can be toggled on and off. This is only visibly removing the layer from the 3D window. Additionally, you may right click and use the define clip plane option to visibly cut the geometry at a certain height or a certain plane. Use the shift and up and down buttons to increment this text box by 1.0. Control does the same, but by 0.1. Once a clip plane has been defined, it can be toggled via the toolbar. First, we need to define some HVAC inlets. Choose the option HVAC or fans from the drop down menu and select Force Inlet. Use a naming convention you prefer or use the auto defined one. Leave the shape as planar and use the method from triangles. This will activate the equipment pick tool to select a surface for the inlet. If a surface is not available, we'll go over how to define one manually next. In this model, HVACs have already been defined. I know for this, the inlet is actually at the bottom of the defined cuboid region. Select the Equipment Pick tool. In holding control, select the surface you want the HVAC inlet to be. Select the preview to ensure that the arrows are pointed into the domain and in the right direction you want them to be. If they are not, click the reverse button to flip that direction. Enter a flow rate for the forced inlet HVAC. This can be done in cubic meters per second or cubic meters per hour. For this example, we'll just leave it as the default. Click the Add Item button once you have the correct surface defined. An alternative method would be to manually select points for the extents of the inlet. We can do this by selecting the method as From Points. The multi-pick tool can be used to select four corners of the cuboid-based region. For the last one, don't select a point, but instead press C on the keyboard to close the loop. Again, preview the item to ensure the flow is in the correct direction. If it is not, use the reverse button. Enter the flow rate for this value, and then click Add Item. Repeat this process for all the inlets in your project. This one will have eight defined. Here are our eight inlets. We'll now continue by adding outlets in the same manner. However, we need to make sure that the mass flow rate of all of the inlets matches the mass flow rate of all the outlets. This can be done by adding up the flow rates of each of the inlets. Take that sum and divide it by the number of outlets you have. 
This will take the eight inlets, each at one cubic meter per second flow rate, and divide it to the four outlets. When defining outlets, be sure to change the type to forced outlet rather than the forced inlet option used before. After selecting the surface, ensure that the outlet flow is pointed outwards of the domain. Do this for all outflows of the project. For this example, we now have 12 HVACs defined, eight inlets, each at one cubic meter per second, and four outlets, each at two cubic meters per second. With all of the HVAC inlets and outlets defined, we can move on to defining the domain for the internal ventilation. Choose Ventilation Simulation from the Add Item drop-down menu and choose Internal as the type. Here, any CAD items will be turned transparent and a yellow cuboid region with a sphere in the middle will appear. The yellow cuboid should be defined around the entirety of the item you want the assessment performed on. The contours and other visualizations will not appear outside of this defined region. Ensure the ground level is as it should be for the project. Here I know that my model is set as ground is z equals zero. Set yours to whatever the ground piece is for your CAD model and click confirm. Next, look at the building and define the cuboid region to encompass that. Ensure that the domain encompasses the entirety of the geometry you want the simulation for. In this case, there are regions that bump out in the building. These should be included within the bounds of the yellow domain. Using two points, define the opposing corners of the domain. One point can be thought of as the bottom left forward corner, and the other point can be the upper right back. Here we see that the domain is sized to encompass all of the CAD, which will be our internal space. It is important that your CAD model be fully closed, meaning if there are any open doors or open windows in the model, they should be closed off. Next, look at the internal point. This should be a point inside the domain that is inside the CAD model and that is internal to the CAD model. Make sure it's not within any geometry such as other equipment pieces or piping, but in the open air inside the building. You can use the pick tool or manually edit the coordinates for this sphere. Ensure under the advanced settings that HVAC includes all HVAC or shift and click to select individual items. Click the add item button. Once the simulation has been initialized, you can look at the mesh of the domain. Here you will see more mesh cells around the inlets and outlets that were just defined. These will adapt as the simulation calculates. But you don't need to look at this at all. You can just leave the project as is until the simulation finishes. Once the simulation is completed, we can add various visualizations to look at the flow inside the building. Here we can look at a contour showing the streamwise velocity throughout the domain that we defined. Another variable that's useful is the mean age of air contour. This shows us how old 
the heir is in the domain. If you have another contour defined, the legend won't show up unless you right click and select link to legend. This contour shows us a couple things. First, it shows us that indeed the bounds of the building were kept in the simulation. That flow did not occur outside the building itself. And second, that air is oldest at the lower middle part of the building. This contour can be moved throughout the domain to see how it changes. In addition to contours, ISO surfaces can be defined using any variable already in the simulation, such as the mean age of air. Here, I might want to see values of greater than 1500 seconds. This is a good variable to look at because if a dispersion occurred inside the building and gas arrived in these low ventilated areas, areas where air is quite old, gas would not be dispersed and then accumulate. With this as the foundation, you can then define gas leaks to run dispersion simulations in the same way you would with external cases. Only this time, from the dispersion drop-down menu, select the internal ventilation case that we defined here. Also, monitor points, lines, and regions can be defined to extract more data from the simulation in the same way as with external ventilation cases. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it has helped in understanding the steps needed to perform an internal ventilation assessment using Inflex CFD software. Feel free to reach out to us at info at insightnumerics.com with any questions.